Hello everybody, Diesel Johnny Boy here. I'd just like to um, talk to you a little bit about um, medieval clocks. So um, disregard the one on the left, because that is not actually a medieval clock. So, so here we have here we have a a reproduction of a medieval clock using the Verge and Folio escapement mechanism. Now these were the first escapement mechanisms used in the first medieval clocks, the first mechanical clocks which, which would appeared in Europe or maybe they were invented in Europe, I'm not actually sure, no one really knows sometimes towards the end of the 13th century so this kind of mechanism has been documented in something like the 1280s, 1290s, there is evidence suggesting that this mechanism was in operation on clocks. Now these early clocks only actually had an hour hand, so you had no minute hand, like this clock on the left is a much later sort of this type of clock would have appeared in the 18th century. It's got the, um, the hour hand and the minute hand. So yeah, that is a much more advanced clock, but right up until the 1650s, most clocks, of virtually all clocks, only had an hour hand. In fact, they all only had an hour hand, and the minute hand didn't come in until after the 1650s. So this is this mechanism up here, which you can see going backwards and forwards, oscillating. This is what we call the folio bar which is connected to the verge, verge, V-E-R-G-E, which is a verge, there's a, a vertical bar with a paddle top and a paddle on the bottom of it. And basically, as it rotates, it releases a tooth each time, as you can just see. There we go, you see that there? Now, the way these clocks are driven is by a heavy weight on a piece of rope which is connected to a spindle and there are a series of gears in there which you can sort of see in there, it's a bit difficult to see but these gears are all connected up and the final ratio is the last one is on the hand, the hour hand and they, were, they were pretty accurate, they weren't bad for for that kind of period you're talking about all those years back, yeah, they were pretty good. Um, so to understand how this mechanism works, you, you can imagine a well with the bucket and the thing you wind up with the windlass. So you drop the bucket down the well and then you wind the bucket up with the water in it. Now once the bucket's up to the top, if you were suddenly to let go of the handle it would whiz back down, wouldn't it? the weight of the water in the bucket would pull the rope and it would whiz down so that you've got a, you've got a dr driven force there and the weight pulls the spindle, whizzes it round and rotates it so it's like a motor really so this is basically the system that these clocks use the weight is driving the cogs round but to stop it just free falling and whizzing down the escapement mechanism controls the descent. So it's a controlled descent driving the clock. Very clever system. I mean that's the system that all weight driven clocks employ. This more modern version here is exactly the same. That's the pendulum there. The pendulum's connected to the escapement mechanism and each time that the pendulum moves backwards and forwards it's releasing the tooth on a gear wheel which in turn drives a series of gears. So really these systems are both the same really, but this is slightly more sophisticated in the fact it has a minute hand, whilst this only has the hour hand. But yeah, if you just take a minute just to watch that, I'll try and put a light on you can see it. It's a, it's a very clever concept really. Just rotating, you see the tooth being released each time. And there we go, that is the Virgin Folio escapement mechanism. There's a very good example of a very early one 
pub is the earliest one that's still in existence really and it's in Salisbury Cathedral and it dates for some time in the middle of the 14th century and it's still actually running, they run it on open days I believe so there we go that is your virgin folio medieval clock ok that's Diesel Johnny Boy signing out, hope you enjoy and leave any comments uh, later on bye bye